Now, Gustav Bjornstrand feels that there really is almost no hope, and that probably we will be going back to a very savage, lawless, terrifying period. But the Fintorn people see it a little differently. They also feel that the world is getting darker and darker and colder and colder, but they also believe that it's a law of nature, because everything is balanced, that as one thing gets darker and colder, something else will get lighter and warmer. And it's their feeling that there will be these pockets of light springing up in different parts of the world, and, and that these will be, in a way, invisible planets on this planet, and, and that, as we or the world grow colder, we will be able to take invisible space journeys to these different planets, refuel for what it is that we have to do on the planet itself, and come back. Huh. And you see, they believe that there have to be centers now where people can come and reconstruct a new future for the world. And, and when I was talking to Gustav Bjornstrand, he was saying that these centers are actually growing up everywhere and that what they're trying to do, which is also what Findhorn was trying to do, and in a way what I'm trying to do, I mean these things can't be given a name. But in a way, these are all attempts at creating a new kind of school or a new kind of monastery. And, and Bjornstrand talked about the concept of, I think he calls it, reserves. 